lightning and the next thunderclap. Now, if the gap gets longer, that means the storm's moving away. Agreed? <laughs> One, two, three. There, yeah, see? Now that means the storm is three miles away. <laughs> One, two, four, five. You see? Now that means the storm's five miles away. It's definitely moving away. Oh, thank heavens. Yeah. I say we all go back to bed because we've got to be up bright and early in the morning. Oh, yes, we've got that coachload of German tourists arriving first. <laughs> yeah, they said they'd be here at 7.30 on the dot. Now, if we want to be ready for them, we have to have a good night's sleep. Well, I don't think I can after all that. Does anyone know a nice song to help us get to sleep? Uh, I know one. Uh, shall I sing it? If you must. <laughs> Ghosts and goblins walk at night Werewolves howl and bats take flight Creepy crawlies creep and crawl And I don't like the dark at all! No, we need something that'll comfort us and bring us courage. Oh, I, I've got, I've got one. <laughs> a song. Well, all right, but it's not about monsters drawing near, nor creepy crawlies, and it's definitely not about werewolves. Now, come on, settle down and I'll sing you a song. Come on. Rest your head on the pillow and float away like the magic carpet of dreams. Settle down, snuggle up. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Scamp! 
pig. Oh, it's you. What's the matter? You heard a noise. You sure? Well, I can't hear anything. What's wrong? We heard a noise. Well, I expect it's just an owl hooting. There's nothing to be afraid of. Well, if that's an owl, it's broken into our kitchen and it... It's wearing hobnail boots. Oh. We'll have to go and investigate. Why would that be dangerous? Well, you've got something to protect us. Oh, good thinking, Sooty. Oh, come on then. I'm right behind you. Right. Come on. <laughs> ah! Hey, 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 it's uh, me! What are you doing out of bed? I was about to ask you lot the same question. There's a ghost in the kitchen. A ghost? Look, I thought we talked about this. There is! Listen! Richard, do you think we'll be able to overpower him? Oh, six on to one. We should be okay. Six? Wait a minute. One of us is missing. You've dropped your water pistol. Hold on to it. Sweet! Exactly sweet. I did try to tell you. What's happening? We thought you were a burglar. Yes, that's why Sooty's got his water pistol. Yeah, Sooty, Sooty, I think Sweet's got the message. Sweet, what are you doing down here? You couldn't get to sleep. Oh, I see. So you decided to make yourself a drink of cocoa. And so all that clattering around was just Sweep looking for a pan to heat the milk in. Now do you believe there's nothing to worry about? I suppose so. There are no strange intruders anywhere in the hotel. It's just your active imaginations. Yeah, well, Liana's right, I suppose. We really are making ourselves frightened about nothing. Well, I'm going back to bed while there's still time to get a good night's sleep. Hmm. Um, what about this mess? Well, Sweep made it, so I think Sweep should clear it up. <laughs> What's that, Sooty? You'll, you'll help Sweet do the clearing up. Well, that's very good of you, very good of you. Oh, you feel a bit bad for soaking him with the water pistol. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, stop it. All right, all right. Now, don't take too long and try not to disturb anyone. Remember, we have to be up bright and early in the morning for our German visitors. Good night. I feel a bit bad about leaving Sooty and Sweet to do all the clearing up. I feel a bit bad, but not bad enough to keep me from my nice, cosy bed. <sighs> yummy yum. Mm. But there's no yummy yum for Sooty and Sweet until the kitchen is tidy and ready for the breakfast rush. <laughs> what a lot of pots, said Sweet. It'll take hours to tidy all this up. No, it won't, replied Sooty. I'll have this kitchen looking shipshape in seconds. Sweep found this hard to believe. But of course, Sooty has two things that Sweep sorely lacks. Brains and... The magic wand! A couple of twirls of Sooty's magic stick and... What about me? said Sweep. Once again, Sooty had the answer. There, said Sooty. Good as new. I haven't had my cocoa, said Sweep. Cocoa? I should cocoa, said Sooty. Thinking of the mayhem in store if Sweep got into the cocoa. Those pots are staying right where they are. If you want a drink, get some cold milk from the fridge. And remember, no more banging about and disturbing people. At 
last. Sweep has made his drink and now, rather sleepily, oh, he's heading back to bed. Hello? 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 Do you speak English? What is wrong? I don't know. All I can hear is squeaking. Let me try. Hello, can you hear me? This is very important. Our flight was early and we will be arriving at Zuti Heights in the soonest of time. Okay. You understand? Hello? 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 Hey, look, there's a hotel over there. Maybe we could stay there for the night. It's worth a try, I suppose. this table. We don't want to wake anyone, do we? I'm so sorry that I didn't have room to put you up at my place. Where is everybody? They phoned to say we'll be early. Oh, I'm sure they know you're coming, but, uh, well, in the meantime, perhaps you wouldn't mind bedding down in the dining room. We are so tired. We could sleep anywhere. Oh, good. Schlafen Sie gut. Traumen Sie süß. Now then, I'll just write a quick note to Sooty, telling him what's what. Now, where did I put my pen? Look, whispered Sweet, pointing at the intruder. Who do you think it is? asked Sooty. I don't recognise the face, said Sweet. Follow me, said Sooty. I've got a plan to surprise our unwelcome visitor. I knew it was here somewhere. Now then. Dear Sooty. Richard! Richard! There's someone knocking at my door. Oh, it's a ghost. I know it is. Richard! Ah, it's a ghost and it knows my name. Richard! Richard! Oh, no. Pull yourself together, Richard. Remember what Liana said. There's no such thing as ghosts. Now, there's nothing to get in a tizzy about. I've just got to be brave and fearless. A ghost! Whoa, 
well done, lads. I haven't arrested a real life burglar in ages. Right, let's see who we've got, shall we? Oh. <gasps> Dotty! Dotty? Who's Dotty? She is. She must be Dotty to break into a place like this. No, no, her name's Dotty. She's a friend of ours. Will somebody please tell me why I've been locked in the office and covered in flour? <laughs> you thought I was a burglar. <laughs> Sweep, I am not a burglar. Well, in that case, madam, perhaps you'd like to explain why you've been creeping around in other people's property in the middle of the night. I was making a delivery. It's very easy to explain. Look, all I need to know, has an actual offence been committed on his premises? Well, um, no. No, no, no. Are you sure? Yes. 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 Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I promised my sergeant I was going to make an arrest this month. Oh. I'm sorry, officer, but it looks like we've called you out on a false alarm. Ah, oh, well, never mind, never mind. You've got to remember, you see, when it comes to noises in the night, it's better to be safe than sorry. Yes. Alpha Romeo to Jam Jar. Jam Jar here, Sarge. Oh, can you go over to Fred's all night cafe, Charlie? There's been a disturbance over the bill. The bill? I like the bill. Well, on my way, Sarge, on my way. Now, look here, madam. I cannot arrest you on account of you haven't done nothing wrong. But I'll remember your face. Mark my words. Remember my face? How dare you, officer? Sorry, madam. <laughs> so, Dotty, what exactly is this delivery of yours? <laughs> well... <laughs> German guests. They arrived early. I couldn't put them up at my place, and so they've been sleeping in the dining room. Oh, I see. How do you do? <laughs> Didn't you get our phone call? What phone call? Sweep. You answered the phone? Well, why didn't you tell us they were coming? You fell asleep? Well, I'm glad somebody managed to. Right, then. Now, everybody knows what's what. I'd better be off. I have got a guest house of my own to run, you know. Uh, thanks, Dotty. Oh, sorry you got covered in flour. Oh, that's OK. <laughs> Good talk. Good no, night. Good night. Good night. Good, Good night. Bye. <sighs> Time for some well-earned sleep, I think. Oh, here. 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 Oh, you know, I could sleep for weeks. Me too. Don't speak too soon. What? Look at that. I must say, I am very impressed with these people. Me too. I have been told that the British are lazy. <laughs> I did not know that they got up so bright and early. Got up? You haven't been to bed yet? I wouldn't hold your breath, sweep. I'm really looking forward to a good English breakfast. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling it's going to be a long... Long day. Bye bye, everybody. Bye.